Hello, it is Rob here again, and today I will show you how to make a very simple Lego Technic number combination lock. And so I've seen a similar design in another video, and I saw that uh, maybe it'll help to have a tutorial, and also mine is much simpler. So yeah, I'll show you how to make it to mine. So each of these, so I'm going to show you, so this, these bar thingies, so I'll just explain later what these bar thingies are. So yeah, this bottom piece is a, a 15 long, pretty long, yeah. The blue piece, this is the H piece, uh, this is the 5. So get one of these. Poke this uh, three stud long beam thingy through it like that. And put it on the side like this. And I just got a nine long beam. And yeah. So that matches. And I'll show you how it works later. This is another piece. Fuck it. Right now you should have something like this. And again, this is an H. This is a 15 long beam. And there's two of these. And now you need this little guy. Poke it through. And this, I believe, it's... 11 studs long and pop it on and okay let's keep going so now wait a second never mind so get another one of these 15 long guys i'm gonna get this it's an h i got one of these small guys because this is one to two you know just me. How's that set? By now, you could should have something like this. Now you get one of this. These guy thingies. I don't know what they are. This suit. Push it down. Get another one. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And like, let me put that aside. And so here's a final tube thingy. Can't get an H. I got a seven. I got a seven long one, and now I just. I'm gonna do the same thing as the uh, one we, we did before. The two of these blue beans. Get one of these guys. So that's like that. And so now your four bars are good. We'll make a lock. Got a nine. I just use these blue beans because I can. And I kind of wanted to. There wasn't really, I didn't have much other pieces. That's that. And now you're going to get another nine. But you're not going to push it all the way down. You're just going to leave it somewhere up here. And so that it's like this. There's just these holes in the middle. So yeah. And now for the body. I'm going to get one of these. I don't know. Get one of these. Get another one of this big piece. Good. Now, you gotta do this. Do that. Do this. 
do that. And another blue. So it's like that. Got it. And yeah, you could definitely pause the video because I'm I think I'm going a little fast. So now you have this little structure thingy. Good. And get this. Get that. No, it should be like this. So I'm just getting these five. I don't need quite some of these. Actually, not really. That should be something like this. Yeah, good. And now for the final, final thingy. You do that. And that's good. So sh you should have five of these. It does not matter where you put them. But there has to be only one stud hole in between. Otherwise, it will not work as we want. So, yeah. Now we gotta get... Gotta get one of that. Black one. Another black piece. Two of these cubey guys. I think and this, is, this part is pretty important. And yeah, these cubey guys. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. Get mm, get black pin. Another two B guy. And another dude. And finally, one of this. Like that. Like that. And all you do is you put this piece on, and you put another nine on. And voila, it's done. So yeah, this is a four digit combination lock. I'll tell you how to put it together. So could be any order, does not matter. These are the locky sticks, the sticky, sticky bobs. But here's one thing you gotta make sure. See the sides, there's two. The two's gotta be on the same side. Otherwise, it would not work very well. And now get this. So get this piece. Gotta make sure these align at the holes. So yeah, that's basically how you open up this lock. Like that. And finally like that. And then you put this in. And then you just scramble it up. Yeah. So yeah, that's it, basically it. So there's 10 numbers in each of them. Look, so it's like one, two. So starting from the side was these two thingies. When you look at it from this, uh, this, uh, this part back, when there's none, when there's no studs, uh, uh, projecting, that will be zero. One stud equals one, two stud two. C stud three and so on. And yeah, there you go. So how you open it, you just like you give it to a friend or someone, you, you gotta make sure all of these holes, like these gaps, and this gap, and this gap, and this gap, they gotta line up so that this nine could have space to come out. And there you go. And just saying for like the, each of these little movie thingies, you could change the combination. You could change like these these guys to like like you could basically change the number. And yeah, good luck with your build. Bye bye.